like a drum. Too far. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time to fly through outer space with the Battlestar Galactica. But not the Pegasus. Yeah, just one Battlestar now. <laughs> we lost one last week. Yep. What's going on in outer space? They rescued everybody from New Caprica. Yep. Or as many people as they could. And the Pegasus sacrificed itself. Yep. And the little half Cylon baby did not make it off New yep. Caprica. Fell into the hands of the Cap or the Cylons. Cylons. Mm hmm So what's next? I don't know. Gotta figure out where the fleet goes next. We're headed to Earth. Think so? Mm -hmm. Should we jump in and find out? Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us to find Earth. Yeah, let's find Earth. And check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos. Full-length commentary or access to polls helps people we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Instagram, Twitter. Twitter and Instagram. Stuff like that. Let's watch Battlestar Galactica. How'd they find him out? I think they got a list. Well, I help people. I help lots of people. Chief, I helped Callie. I saved Callie. Sure, I took her out of the line. I said, go, run right now. Run like hell. Get out of here. And she did. She ran and she got away. Because they would have saved her regardless. Hmm? They would have saved Callie regardless. If, if that happened, does that make up for killing my son? No, it doesn't. Under the Articles, punishment for treason is death. Oh, they're sending him out the airlock. No, he hit his head on the way out, so he wasn't conscious when his body exploded from the inside. Yeah, basically. He was only seven years old. He's much more comfortable than me, huh? She's got built-in pillows. Yeah, I love pillows. Did anybody help you? What do you think goes for? Somebody told me to run. I haven't thought about it since. Well, there's no point in thinking about it now. I you know. sent him out the airlock. Forty-one thousand four hundred and thirty-five survivors now. There was like forty-nine thousand yeah, or something so the last time 8, I remember. Yeah. Actually, more people than I expected. Right, he was in an impossible situation. I'd probably done the same in his position. Gata. No hard feelings. Are you fucking kidding me? How the hell did he get there? No idea. I hate this guy. You're being too lenient, teach. Don't you have any self-respect? Apparently not. Don't make me angry, guys. You wouldn't like her when she's angry. This is all a dream. <laughs> God, I hope so. I'm dreaming, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're on some weird ass Cylon ship. Is that what are you sleeping on? I guess so. It's like all they could find because they don't use beds or something. <laughs> you have this couch. <laughs> oh, there's a resurrection ship. Great. Just don't. Excuse me, guys. He's your husband. You can't shut him out like that. How long before the new quorum of 12 can be sworn in? Ah, three days. Oh, Mr. President. Oh, because he was the vice president. Once they confirm you, I submit my resignation, and you get sworn in. Oh. 
I don't want to be on the outside looking in anymore. Special advisor? The vice presidency is yours. If you want it, Tom. You're going to swap? <laughs> He's president right now because Baltar is MIA. He's going to nominate her as vice president, resign, and then she's going to nominate him as vice president. A little ring around the rosy for you. Communications took some serious hits during the rescue and Mr. Gator's offered to help with repairs. Well, isn't that nice? The old man needs his phones fixed and suddenly all is forgiven. As long as you're here, maybe you can help me out. I'm missing something. I lost it in detention. His eyeball. Walk with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you got it. Go sleep this off. That's an order. Oh, yeah, just go to sleep. Uh oh. Just forget about everything. Well, I'm not forgetting. I'm not going to forget. Not until Gata tells everybody that he was the, the mole, giving them all their information to keep him going. Ooh. It looks rough. I knew there was a clock when we signed on. Most of these fracks are so guilty they stink. I get through 50 of these things in an hour. This is about justice. You got that? Justice. Yeah, okay, okay. And Adama gave him a timeline. And Ty just had to kill his wife, so. Yeah. Guilty. He did not directly kill anybody, and he was no. working to provide them with information, so. He was the public face, but Gaeta, he was the brains. Everyone knew that. He ran the operation. No, no, no. The blonde <laughs> did. The side, yeah. I want to go with them on this one. Gee. No, Sam, you see a death list like that, you know innocent people are going to die and you do nothing about it? He did something about it. No, don't bother. I'm done. And we're still voting. I'm not. I'm done. I'm done with this whole thing. We don't have six votes. I'm out, too. He's right. We need a six. Who <laughs> they replace Anders with? How are you guys? I'm alive. Hello, Lucy. What? You don't think she's pretty? Yeah, of course I think she's pretty. It's just that there's been some controversy about whether or not you should have been let on board. Can't believe that's still a question of my value. What is his value? Until female silence can start reproducing? I don't understand his value at all. The fact is, the decision rests with the sixes. <laughs> the six is the one that should be a shoe in, right? Yeah. Any more missing persons? I want to know about it. Yes, sir. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a date with a jump rope. Hey, I've dropped half a stone. Keep jumping. <laughs> <laughs> so does Adama not know about the Apparently circle? not. Or was he playing dumb with Lee? No, I don't know. Hey. How are you doing? Not so hot. No, no, I fed information to the resistance. I, I set up dead drops. There was a dog bowl. Uh, I passed along Cylon positions, internal memoranda. Right, Felix. You're a fracking hero. Oh, boy. Uh, Starbuck gonna become part of the circle? Are they gonna... Indulge that information he just said in public, though the dog, know. the dog bowl, and the dead drops. I gave your species a second chance. I even turned against a sister Cylon, and for what? Yeah, he is pretty disappointing, isn't he? <laughs> the Cylons are acting disappointed. It's like, dang it, we the humans still fought against us after being occupied and yeah after we a... just tried to kill off their entire species oh gosh yeah how dare they freaking idiots you gotta be kidding me that's why we need to know right now are you in or out 
<clears throat> In. Good. We've already been through the evidence. You tell me that Gata saw this list and didn't do a damn thing about it. We're he told you about the fucking dog bowl. Guilty. He doesn't want to say he's guilty because Gata is such a good guy. Right, Chief? Everyone likes Gata, so let's let him off the hook. Let's just look. Well, nobody likes him right now. <laughs> Guilty. So I take it they're done. I hope they can get it back together. Felix Gata. You've been tried and found guilty of crimes against humanity by a circle of your peers, as duly authorized by the president of the colonies. Oh, the president authorized it. So Zarek did the. Mm hmm. Well, listen to you tell us how hiding behind Baltar's skirt was actually your way of helping the insurgency. Say something. Come on, Gita. Beg. Beg. Tell him about all the messages in the dog bowl and everything else. Just tell me. What did she say? What did she just say? What did you say to her? Tell me. What did you say to her? The yellow dog bowl. It was a, a signal. It meant there was a message in the garbage dump. It was a yellow dog bowl. I used it. Kelly, he's the reason we're on the ship. He's the one who gave us the inside information. Not guilty. Kara's pissed because she didn't get to kill someone. Man. Ty's pissed because he doesn't like Gata. <laughs> no, I think he's. I think they're all just questioning like, what the hell is this? It's all perfectly legal. Th what they're doing now? If they're guilty, they'll be tried by a jury of their peers. They have a jury, but they don't get lawyers. They just disappear now. In the gray twilight between the long night of the occupation and the dawn of a new era. People will be lining up to testify against their neighbors. It'll be a circus, an entertainment for the mob, and you'll be signing death warrants almost every day. Is that how you want to spend your next term, Mora? As executioner in chief. Hmm. He makes a point. <laughs> Is Eric still gonna be the vice president now? After <laughs> Vice President doesn't have much power, so. So today I am forming a commission on truth and reconciliation to hear our stories and record them for posterity. There will be no prosecutions. I am issuing a general pardon for every human being. Oh, in this it sucks state. for those that are already dead. Yeah. Sorry, Jammer. But I truly believe that this is the only way for us to move forward in strength. Problem is... People aren't that rational, so yeah. you can issue a pardon all you want. They're going to still treat each other like shit. Those people are still going to be ostracized. I like your decision, though. I mean, it's a good decision. It's just not going to work out the way that they think. All right. Yeah. Well, Chief was right. I mean, they would not have gotten off that planet without Gator's help. No, no, no. Gator saved them. He fed them crucial information. Yeah. The frequency breaker so they could actually talk to the raptor up there in mm -hmm. space to set up the whole plan. So, yeah. Well, what's on your mind after that episode? Hmm. Hmm. Yep. yep. It's kind of like a double-edged sword with what to do with the collaborators yeah right? make it i mean oh they were right. vengeance and justice are kind of hard to you know tell apart sometimes and uh when you're emotionally damaged from an enemy that's exploiting all of you mm -hmm. it's kind of hard to make rational decisions right? i like how their truth and reconciliation they're going to take down the people's story and 
hear what they did mm-hmm. to learn from it for history's sake. It's the, the idea, I guess. Yeah. I think that's better than making a circus court out of it. Yeah. Sure. Should we watch the next episode? You want to watch some more? Yeah. Let's watch some more Battlestar Galactica. Cylon psychology is based on projection. Projection. It's how they choose to see the world around them. You're either connected to the woman I knew on Caprica, or you're a damaged part of my subconscious struggling for self-expression. So which one is it? Yeah, we're, we're dying to know. I'm an angel of God sent here to help you. An angel of God. Hmm. Is that what she really is? I don't fucking know. Seems like she has she she has information that Gaius shouldn't know. Right. And it always seems to come true, so I honestly could have gone a few episodes without any Gaius. That would (laughs) have I'm wondering what they're gonna do with him. So what do you say? Haven't asked him yet. Ask me about what? Earth. Don't fucking say a thing, guys. He's gonna tell him. He's gonna tell him. There was a hope, my hope, that if you knew the way to Earth, it would justify keeping you alive a little longer. But I do not know exactly where Earth is. That is not to say that I do not know a very great deal about its probable location. This guy. What do you care about finding Earth? That's where the humans are. You shithead. They want to get there before the humans do, so they're ready to wipe them out. Yes, we've decided that Earth's going to be our new home. Oh. Duh. Their whole goal in life is to take out humankind, right? Like, fucking idiot. This guy's Maybe dumbass. Maybe this took place a long time ago, and we're all Cylons. Definitely. We're definitely all Cylons. It's the history of our planet. Could be. This is like Star Wars, you're saying? Yeah. Galaxy far, far away a long time ago. Mm-hmm. This is our origin story. Hmm. That's why there's Zeus and. and why those we gods. just have the one god. Yeah. Does she play me like a drum? Too far. <laughs> Red Team Apollo. As soon as we clear the moon, we're gonna be on their Dreadus, so keep your eyes Oh, he's thin again. Is he? Woo! <laughs> you gotta have to do better than that, Apollo! Come on! No, oh, maybe he's still fat. Inbound! <laughs> if you wanna die, I will open up an airlock for you. He's thin again. It's probably been like a month since the last episode. Mm-hmm. When's he gonna get himself a patch? What? Don't look at me like that. Oh my gosh. You gotta stop drinking, dude. Tell us. What are they doing on the Galactica? Who are you? <laughs> Kara, Kara. She talks? You remember me? I'm Julia Brynn. I'm Casey's mom. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Give me a hug. We've been staying Give me a hug. Remind me never to let that happen again. You got it, Slim. <laughs> passage and the caravan of the heavens was watched over by a great lion with a mighty blinking eye leo hmm? leo the lion we're looking for a lion's head with a mighty blinking eye blinking well the scrolls they speak in metaphors it's got a hot sun and a cold sun uh, the spectrographic readings that i found show one will appear to be red mm. and one will appear to be blue yeah thing we've got going so unless you object admiral i suggest we go lion hunting it's a race between 
Gaeta and Gaius trying to figure out where to go. <laughs> Funny how all that ambivalence and conflict seem to vanish once you thought your life hung in the balance. Yeah, yeah. He's just purely self-serving. We didn't mean to intrude. Come on, Gaius. <laughs> Must be nude yoga or something. I do have an active imagination. <laughs> well, we don't have to imagine, we project. We choose to see our environment in any form we wish. For instance, right now you see us as standing in a hallway, but I see it as a forest. Well, wouldn't that make it more confusing? Instead of staring at blank walls, I choose to surround myself with a vision of God's creation. I wonder what that guy was looking at. A vivid reality that I've created in the Cylon projection experience seems to be so similar. Is it a coincidence? It's programming. Am I a Cylon? What was that? It's talking out loud. Silly me. <laughs> See a Cylon? Probably. Probably. He's the only version of himself, though. Yeah. It's the only reason why they're keeping him. Yeah. They're making him think that he's special, but he's they really make just... Him think he's human, but he's actually the only model of that Cylon. Right. They haven't been able to replicate him yet. You seem distracted. Well, he are. thinks he's a Cylon. There are only 12 Cylon models, but in the entire occupation on New Caprica, I only saw seven. Who are the final five? It's complicated, but we don't talk about them. Ever. <laughs> missing base ship. It's been infected with some kind of disease. Disease? Yes, it's killing them. All right, we make sure that the resurrection ship is out of range, then we jump to their location. Like there's viruses planted in the place that, like... So you'll go aboard the infected base ship and investigate what happened? You sent them to that nebula, remember? It's almost like the nebulas have viruses planted in them, mm -hmm. so that, like, the... I don't know, the elders or whatever the fuck they were, planted diseases in those areas so that if the Cylons ever came back, that they yeah, would be infected was, and killed that off. That would have to have been planted long before the Cylons were even created. Well, maybe this, this, I mean, history repeats itself, right? Yeah. Maybe this is something that's already happened before. Well, I mean, there was another Battlestar Galactica series. There's all, yeah, that's true. There's all this, this whole, you know, space-time continuum thing, so maybe they just traveled forward or backward in time. I don't fucking know. Truly selfless act. This guy has got to be a Cylon. Why would he be helping them so much? But if he was a Cylon, this his plan wouldn't work. <laughs> if you down there, why don't you take it out on the Cylons? Because we busted our ass to get you off that rock. Now, do you think that means anything? It should. And get us briefing Sharon and Racetrack on the scouting mission to the Pulsars. You mean Athena and Racetrack? Sharon can't go there, though. Would she get infected? One would think. They're destroying morale and unification. They both know better. I don't think they care, sir. No, yeah. not acting like it. They're both very self-destructive right now. They're both depressed. This is all one. End of line. FDL system check. Diagnostic functions within parameters. Repeats the hard one. What model is that? A uh, sick one. Or is this a hybrid? Most Cylons think the conscious mind of the hybrid is mm -hmm. simply gone mad and the vocalizations we hear are meaningless. But not everyone thinks so. I believe that every word out of her mouth means something. That God literally speaks to us through her. Yeah, he would think that, wouldn't he? That's weird. God, this is like friggin' Event Horizon happening all over again. Be some sort of like space time continuum monster in that base star eating everybody in sight.
What was that thing that caused the Cylons to die in season one? In the miniseries, it was like the Radiation. nebula around the uh, the weapons cache. Yeah. Like radiation or something? Yeah. Oh, brown haired six. Do you know what this is? Found it floating at these coordinates. Uh, must be some kind of breadcrumb. Drug infected poison left by some humans like you to destroy us. Mm. Be quiet, you I'm going to break us all. Out. It's your fault. <gasps> you lied to them. Shut up! Oh, yes, you're Shut up! All of us. Be quiet! No, Let me be can't qu can't Shut up! Let me. Shut up! Oh, she's not resurrecting. This guy makes no fucking sense. So what did you notice on the infected ship? Nothing. Nothing. I am just as baffled as you are. You noticed nothing suspicious on the infected ship? <laughs> Except for that thing they took a picture of. <laughs> she can add him? Or protect a secret? I want to be Pick that weapon up and shoot me. I said to pick up that weapon and shoot. Because they're already destroying him. You can figure out how to become a human being again and an officer. Or you can find another place to live off of this ship. You're dismissed. You're ready to act like the man that I've known for the past 30 years. That man doesn't exist anymore, Bill. And you won't be seeing me again. Did he just retire? <laughs> Hair's coming off. <laughs> so she's going to shape up again. And he's going to ship out. She can totally be Aunt Kara. Right. Oh my god. Let's get the frack out of here. When god dang her wakens, even the mighty shall fall. Frack Athena, we need to get out of here! Is she infected now? No, maybe not, because she didn't engage with the device. Yeah, I think you have to, she has to actually be inside the the, the ship. To, but she was probably getting the, those distress signals from from the all hybrid, the, right? All the raiders and the all the silent ships were dead too, though. Yeah, but that that hybrid being inside the one that controlled the the, the base star the base star was probably sending distress signals still. still. Oh, I wonder okay. if she was like picking up on a distress well, signal from that base star. All right. Interesting. Yeah, so yeah, I guess you're right. The oh. uh, the 13th colony left breadcrumbs that are poisonous to Cylon, so they can't follow them. Yeah. Interesting. Athena, though. The new Sharon. Athena. Is I she going to be... I think she'll be okay as long as she doesn't engage with those breadcrumbs. Yeah. Right? Doesn't bring the breadcrumbs, isn't exposed to them directly. Yeah. I was kind of worried about her, or the way she was acting there. Maybe she was just hearing what the... The that hybrid was saying. That'll be she, my assumption, but I don't weird know. There. Hopefully she's okay. Yeah, hopefully. Because she's proven her loyalty. Mm hmm Until she finds out from a Cylon that her baby's still alive. Right. That's going to put a wrench in things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well, what else is on your mind after these two episodes? I, I'm i really hopeful that Kara and Anders can figure Reconcile. their shit back out. But yeah. we didn't see Anders at all these two episodes. No, we didn't. I think they're done. <sighs> Matching tattoos and all. But I like Danders. Yeah, I'm sure he'll still be around doing something. Just wasn't around on this one. Dang. So, what are they going to do with Gaius, though? That Caprica 6 saw the mm -hmm. device, so she knows he's hiding something. But she didn't speak up. 
No, because she still loves him. And he was worried about self-preservation at that point. He knew he had to tell them to abandon that Yeah, but he knew if he told them that there, that there was something on their ship, they would think that he le- yeah, it led was like them to that on purpose, right? Double-edged sword for him. If he led them, he'd be guilty of leading them to this thing that killed them all. Right. Or the people on the ship, if they saved them, would be like, he led us, like, he had to, like, yeah. destroy the evidence. I don't know. So. But I don't really care what happens to guys, to be honest. <laughs> hmm. Keep waiting for them to kill him. Yeah. So no redemption possible for him? I mean, this is the, people keep saying that I'm going to feel about yeah. Gaius the way I felt about Sawyer, right? Like, I just I hated know. him so much and then it turned the corner at the end. But I don't know. He doesn't seem to have any redeeming qualities in well, my mind. He does seem remorseful about some of the decisions he's had to make. After he makes the stupid fucking decisions, he can just not make stupid decisions to begin with. He wouldn't yeah. have to feel remorseful. Yeah. Well, he's not a Cylon. Nope. Not a Cylon. Mystery solved. Yeah. <laughs> well, what should people comment on after these two episodes? Are the hybrids receiving God's message, or are they just random synapse firing? Yeah, what do you think of the, the shit? hybrids? That was a new introduction in the Cylon mm-hmm. lexicon that there. Was weird. So, yeah, so they're like the missing link between the centurions and the human forms, right? Like, yeah, like something. That, or something like that. Or maybe they found humans and decided, like, to, I don't know. I don't it was know before the human forms or something that they decided to combine human and I don't mechanical. Know. I don't know. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Let us know what you think about the hybrids. That was pretty cool. It reminded me of Minority Report. Yeah, me too. So that was pretty cool. So. Also, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, and check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full length commentary, access to polls, hopes, pick what we watch next. Thanks down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.